So friends, welcome back to our channel, Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you, as you would have seen from the title, a question, a scenario-based question on treat as function, and it is quite often asked in most of the interviews. Okay, so you have to be very clear about this function. Okay, many of you are quite blank about this function, so it should not be the case. Okay, you should definitely know about this function. and the scenario which will which i will talk about today okay so please stay tuned and do watch the complete video for proper knowledge okay so let's start the video and if you're new to the channel if you're watching the video first time on this channel please do subscribe it and press the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming videos as you won't find the kind of videos that i upload on this channel on this channel anywhere else on youtube okay so let's start with the scenario okay so first of all uh, this is a sales table and this is sales sample 7 table where if you can see uh, we have different years and corresponding to the different years we have their sales value in 2018 550 similarly in 2022 we have 400 as the sales value okay so this is sales sample 7 table so this table i will consider and i will consider this calendar table okay so these two are the two tables that i will consider it, con consider it here and the same will be told by the interviewer that you have two two tables like this or something like this and if you if i go to the model view you can see here these two tables uh, calendar table and sales sample sales sample sales sample 7 table are not connected to each other okay so the first question will be asked is which function is helpful in connecting two tables if it is not connected directly through a relationship so the answer will be treat as function okay now the second question will be so if two tables are not connected and you will be using uh, treat as function then how will you calculate the total sales based on the number of years that are present in the calendar table okay so what do i mean by that is that let me take you to the number of years column that we have in sales table okay so if i drag it here and make it a table and do not summarize then as you can see here we have 2018 18 2019 20 21 and 22 as the number of years okay so this is the year column that is present in the sales stamp uh, sales sample 7 table that is the sales fact table here now i will bring the calendar uh, year from the calendar table okay let us see what does the values show there okay so as you can see here we have 2020 2021 and 2022 so the question was how will you calculate the total sales as per the number of years present in this calendar table so uh, we i have to calculate the sales uh, which are there in 2020 21 or 2022 that is 890 plus 275 plus 400 so how will i calculate this so we will be calcul calculating this with the help of treat as function and let us see how we can do that using a measure okay so let me create a measure for you i hope it is cl uh, clearly visible now so i will name it as uh, sales amount required is equal to i will make use of calculate function here first of all okay so the calculate calculate what the sum of sales value so i will make use of sum the sales value okay so the sales value uh, sales value will be okay and then close the bracket and then make use of treat as function here okay so treat as okay spelling is so treat as function so let me also take you to the microsoft documentation which is there for treat as so what does treat as do it applies the result of a table expression as filters to columns from an unrelated table okay so first expression is a table expression okay this is the table expression and it will act as a filter to the columns of unrelated table so the same thing we have to apply it here okay so the first thing is first is the table expression so we will make use of values function here okay values function and i will make use of year column from the calendar table right because this this only i have to pass as filter to the sales sample 7 table okay and that's why i have used it here now why i have used values because values will return a table okay of this column it will return all the values of year column and as a table so that's what was required as the first argument in treat as function now this has to be passed as filter to the columns from an unrelated table 
so the unrelated table is the year column year column from okay i have typed it inside so the year column okay so the year column will be of sales sample 7 table right because because you have to filter out this only right okay so now let us uh, click on this icon and let's see if this measure works out and give us the correct results okay so there is no mistake in the measure and let us see what does the result comes out to be so this is the sales amount so it comes out to be 1565 is it correct let us verify so in 2020 890 plus 275 plus 400 so if you will calculate it is 51565 only so that's what was required from this calculation it has ignored the years 2018 2019 why because it is not present in the year column of calendar table right and that's where treat as function is helpful and so i hope it is clear to you now and how you have to answer it in front of the interviewer you got the explanation okay so that's it for this video if you like the content please hit the like button and share it with all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this okay stay tuned and thanks a lot